Hey guys, it's Melissa, and I wanted to talk about a topic that has come up in several, at least a half a dozen conversations over the last week or so um, with some of the other leaders that I know. And so this video is to you leaders and you rising leaders. And when I say leaders, I don't necessarily mean somebody who has a downline um, or who sponsored somebody else. Really, I'm talking to you um, who have sponsored people, you haven't sponsored people, but you are intentional in your building efforts. You're trying to learn more, you're trying to do more, you're trying to be more effective in what you do, and you really have some goals set that you're trying to reach with Young Living, and you want Young Living to be part of your everyday um, income life, okay? So Lori Bohr actually addressed some of this last week in her amazing Periscope. So if you haven't seen that, please go look for it. She It was saved apparently on Clatch um, clatch.me, I think it is. Anyway, um, so the question that's come up time and again is, how do I lead, motivate, uh, inspire my team or the people around me to be more active with Young Living and or to sign up with Young Living? Um, and the short answer is, you can't. <laughs> and I don't mean that to be disheartening. Uh, the fact is that you can't push a rope. And those people, when they are ready to build, when they have a vision in front of them that makes it worthwhile, they're going to build whatever you do or don't do. They're going to be more or less frustrated. They're going to feel more or less supported by you. But they're going to do what they're going to do. And um, I say this having put, having put hours and hours and hours and hours of effort into um, people who say they want to build and then never put rubber to road. And so now one of the kind of little tests that I do, I guess you'd say, to see if you are somebody who's ready to work at it or if you're somebody who needs some more time because no doesn't always mean no, it means not now sometimes. Uh, so I'll do things like, for me, the very first challenge I'm going to issue somebody is that it says they want to build is to make a dream board. Because I want you to see from the very beginning, I want my leaders to see from the very beginning, why am I doing this? I want that to be front and center in their minds. So I'm going to tell them to build a dream board and to um, send me a goal sheet. Okay? And the second thing I'm going to do is have, when that's met, I might have them read um, for your career or circle of success or something along those lines. A fairly easy, quick read that is a business builder's um, MO, if you will. And so when they've achieved these things, I can see that they're serious or more serious about doing something with Young Living and with, with uh, the business aspect of things. And that it's worth putting my time into because my time's limited too. Even as I'm trying to build, trying to meet new people, trying to do more things. Um, you can see I have a, a visitor here. Um, you know, I'm also trying to lead and motivate and inspire um, my people <laughs> and my team and, and also crossline leaders because I really, really love and enjoy meeting with you crossline leaders. And so um, there's a couple of takeaways I want to give you here because I don't want this to be long. The first is know that you're not alone. There are many of us who are contemplating that question, mulling that question over and looking for an answer. And the second is, um, and, and the answer, the, the second part of the, of the answer of you can't, is that whatever inspiration um, and motivation you can give to your folks is done through your actions. Lots more action, a lot less talking, right? Just like with your children, just like with um, other leadership activities, whatever. Uh, so the other thing I want you to take away from this is that you're not alone and that... Um, if you feel stuck, if you hit a point where you feel like you're grasping at straws, where you feel like nothing you're doing is working, where you feel like you're just kind of sliding on a muddy hill, one of the things that you can do that has worked um, amazingly well for me is to reach out to other people that you know are building, not for a gripe session so much, but maybe to vent for a minute and then to move forward into brainstorming. Let's brainstorm some ideas of what, um, what can we do to move forward? What can we do to build together? What can we do to, to have, um, what can we do to try? What's new that we can try? 
and I am an amazing, for me, I love to brainstorm. I'm not gonna say an amazing brainstorm, but I really love to. And um, so if you ever want to just have a brainstorming session, I'm happy to participate in that to help you out with that. Cross line, up line, down line, I don't care. Um, certainly down line. Uh, so, but that's one of the things, you know, just in those brainstormings, you get motivated again yourself. You find that energy again for yourself. You find that you have new ideas that come from that that maybe you didn't think of before. And then you have to put yourself into the implementation of whatever your brainstorming session brought out. But do the brainstorming first, do the goal setting first, do those things first so that your team can see that that's what you're working at and you can work together cross line, up line, down line, you can work together so that everybody can come up at once. And it's just an amazing process. And um, I think you'll find that doing that is going to motivate you and motivate your team more than anything else that you can do or say. So I hope that this has been of value to you. I hope that it was um, worth a few minutes to watch. And um, I can't wait to talk more because I know that this is a huge topic for many of us right now and that, that we're, we're, we're trying so hard to go somewhere. And it's working. It is working. I've seen a lot more chatter on our Facebook pages. I've seen a lot more chatter cross line. I've seen a lot more people excited, new people getting excited. Work with that. Know that it's coming and know that you're not alone when you feel a little stuck because we're all going to feel a little stuck sometimes. So have a great evening. Happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you online beforehand. And uh, we'll see you next time.